We're here with Simon, um, a fourth generation baker. He makes our buns for Handmade Burger. Amazing guy, amazing skill. Um, tell us about your the family businesses. Yeah, um, well, we've been established since 1899, uh, family business. My, my great grandfather started the business. Um, and I took it over 16 years. Chris came along to me a couple of years ago and said, can you make me a nice authentic sourdough bat? So we worked on it very closely with Chris for a few months. We developed a lovely specialist product just for Chris. Yeah. And we supplied his restaurants with it ever since. Yeah, absolutely brilliant sourdough buns for handmade burger. This is the mix for handmade burger. We've got in there uh, flour and water and everything else. And Simon, what, so what are we going to do now? We're going to have the rest yeah. of the flour. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more flour. Right. Where's the flour come from? Uh, it's a local supplier, family business again. Uh, we've been using them for many years and they make a first class product. So we'll add a little bit more flour to the bowl, making too much mess. That's great, that's really great. And, and then in terms of how do we get this from a normal dough to be sour? Yeah, well, what we have here is a small amount of sourdough that we're going to add to this. This sourdough is made from a mother dough, which we have fed and looked after for many years. It's a, we, we keep it in the, in the cold room, we add a little bit of flour, a bit of water to it every day, and we let it ferment on and on, and it gives it the this sourdough has a lovely flavour, so we're going to add this to it, mix it, and that will give it a unique taste. So here we go. Here it goes. Absolutely so amazing. Sorry about that. Of flour on no, well, nothing wrong with a bit of flour. So an amazing amount of effort to make a beautiful handmade yeah. burger bun, and it's all about the sourdough. Yeah. It's been looked after by this nurtured, nurtured and loved for many years. For many, many years. So now we'll get the mix on, and, uh, and we'll see Let's what see happens there. next. Yeah. Okay, so we're um, we're here with the dough literally coming out of the machine, uh, which is basically sized for any yeah, maybe it's buns, isn't it? Yeah, it's been divided to the right, the correct way for the bun, the five-inch bat that we make for the length of handmade burger. Um, it's going through this machine now, flour sprinkled onto it, and then it goes through a roller here, and then it's rolled flat, and then it goes onto another conveyor where it's rolled a little bit flatter again. You see these go on the bun there, um, by hand, we don't do anything with the machinery, it's all placed in the tray of sesame seed, so you get a good covering, much better than if you sprinkle them on, a generous coating of sesame seed and then placed back on the tray like that. But I'm not very quick at it, so I've got this man here, who's twice as quick as me, who will demonstrate it now. That's it. That's how you get lots of sesame seeds on handmade burgers buns. Sesame yeah. seeds go on and then what happens next? Yeah, um, once the rack's full, they go into the stainless steel room here, which is a prover. Um, they'll stay in there for an hour and a half while the buns rise, ready to go in the oven. Um, they'll go in the oven just over there, as I say, after an hour and a half, and they'll be baked to a lovely golden brown finish. So, 15 minutes later, after being proved for an hour and a half, these beautiful golden brown Handmade burger buns come with a nice generous coating of sesame seeds, as you can see, come out of our oven, ready to go be delivered fresh to handmade oh. burger restaurant. Beautiful sourdough buns. Just smell the inside. Oh, you can smell the sourdough, can you? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Made by an expert, four generations on the recipe. It's amazing.